Hello, I'm Dr. Ranjit Mohan, Consultant, Internal Medicine and Infectious Diseases at Manipal Hospital, HL Old Airport Road. And today, I'm here to answer your questions on Ascariasis. Ascariasis is a parasitic infection of the intestine by roundworms, most commonly Ascaris lumbricoides, the human roundworm. The disease is quite common. In fact, it is estimated that uh, worldwide, more than a billion people are infected with this parasite and are living with it right now. very few symptoms in most persons who are infected with ascariasis and it is usually mild. Whenever symptoms do occur, it includes abdominal discomfort and pain. Symptoms such as cough, rashes, etc. occur due to the migration of the worm within the human body. However, sometimes the infection can be quite severe with severe abdominal pain, distension and even abdominal obstruction due to worms. Children especially young children infected with ascariasis may suffer from poor growth and nutritional deficiencies. Ascariasis can very rarely affect the lung and also the skin also produce allergic reactions in certain susceptible individuals. Individuals who are infected with ascariasis tend to pass out the eggs of the parasite in their stool. When food or water gets contaminated with such stool, it too contains such eggs. And when such food or water which is contaminated is consumed by healthy individuals, they too get infected with Ascariasis. Ascariasis is treated with anti-helminthic drugs such as mebendazole, albendazole, etc. The uh, treatment is quite simple, cheap and with oral medication. Uh, we can prevent ascariasis through certain very simple measures. These include maintaining environmental cleanliness, personal hygiene, safety of food and water and maintaining hand hygiene and also through the use of proper anti-helminthic drugs at the appropriate time. These medications are easily available all over the country and they can be prescribed to you by a medical practitioner. Ascariasis can cause nutritional deficiencies and poor growth and growth retardation in children who are infected with the parasite. Also, in severe cases of ascariasis, where there is obstruction of the intestine by the worms, a surgical intervention may be required. Persons living in unhygienic environments with limited access to proper sanitation and with limited access to clean food and water are more at risk of ascariasis. The infection can be transmitted from one human being to another through the fecal-oral route. Essentially, this means that the feces of the person who has an infection which contains the eggs of the parasite can contaminate the food and water of another person and thereby transmit the infection from one human being to another. The course of treatment is, includes the use of anti-helminthic drugs such as mebendazole and albendazole. The usual duration of treatment is about one to three days. However, in severe cases, retreatment may be necessary. An important point that I would like to highlight is the impact that ascariasis has on the human population. It is estimated that several millions of children in third world countries with limited access to proper food and water and proper sanitation are right now afflicted with this disease. This can lead to the development of nutritional diseases, anemia, 
and retarded growth in such children. So this is a topic that certainly requires our attention and action.